Hi, welcome to uh, GoCo Pro on my screen. I'm Derek, and I wanted today to show you the um, putting a screen into a frame. So we have the frame with its arrow, its big dot and wee uh, slot, and we go to the other side and we put our tape as close to the inside edge as we can. Then we take our master material and we do S to S, shinier side to sticky. And we just go to the, the one edge and we just run it along. Then we go to the other edge. Start, I always start in the middle and we just play it out. You often have to have a little bit of adjustment uh, as you go. But then we just pull this one out. And then I turn it round so as I get to the end. And I always work personally away from me. But I'm sure you will all get an idea of how to do it yourself and what to do for the best results. We put a nice little bit of tension into the screen uh, so that it gets a nice crisp image as it goes through the my screen. Here we just take this off and pull it out. Tease the edges out. Now sometimes uh, I've seen others and they use a pen or a, a little... Um, almost bone and they just run this down nice and hard. I tend to just use my fingers but sometimes it's quite good just to have a, another piece of material that just gives us a nice good adhesion to our master material. So that's it now ready to go into our uh, screen. Um, once it's made its screen uh, then you're ready to print. And you're then going to print on this side, the rougher side. Now all that's holding this screen into the frame is the double sided tape. So you tend to work on top of the screen which is totally fine. But we were looking at this alternative where we've taken another frame, one of our ones that we sell, and we've put on a rubber, a little 2mm thick rubber. And this we then drop onto the top of the screen. We then use some clips and we just clip this together. And what this is going to do is it gives a much uh, tougher hold onto the master material. So the master material is not just being gripped from the back with double sided tape. It's now actually being held in place by the, um, the rubber and the clip and all the rest of it. And then regardless of which end you're working from, if you're going to put this into your uh, a print press, it also firms up the screen so it's not quite as wobbly as it was before. So if you were going to do a longer print run, then this is a, another solution that you can have um, so you can get a little bit of a tighter hold on to the mesh. Remember with a my screen with a GoCo Pro, you don't always need to have the same sort of tension as you do with uh, traditional screens um, because you tend to print in a slightly different way. Anyway, that's how you would put that together. You would obviously have burnt your image in there before you put your second layer on, which I'm going to go and do now. Um, but it's another little solution that you can uh, have to get a longer print run with a, holding your mesh tighter in the screen. 